Tournament, tournament, charge for rhyme. Greedy comics, Twister, Hell of Six, Hell of Wacky Nick, Take a Bad Hits, Take a Bad Hits, Sardamins. Subscribe to the Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardamus Prime here, doing another SH Figure Arts action figure review on the Bandai Tamashi Nation's Marvel Avengers Endgame Movies Final Battle Edition Mark 85 Disney Deluxe Iron Man. If you're trying to get your SH Figure Arts, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And while you're down there, please go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so we get those 1 million subscribers and this is looking pretty sweet right over here i really like this packaging you can see the gold right over there in the back and it says disney deluxe right over here you get this nice gold text throughout really dig it nice product shot of iron man over there on the back you can see some more nifty product shots i really like this weathering thing and then you can see you get that nice reflective gold text embossed on the packaging right over there too i like that you can see right over there as well nice image of iron man then you get more fancy text on the top as well as the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open <laughs> so we get two head sculpts with this figure and all of these accessories over here a lot of them are familiar though especially the ones that you're seeing closer to the camera you can see that we get the same five pairs of interchangeable hands that we've gotten with the last endgame iron man figure and very similar effects right over here so you can see that we get the smaller repulsor blast ones and then we get these larger ones right over here for the feet and you can see that we get that beautiful white paint right over there and i love how it fades right into that yellow and then we get these right over here for the hands as well so they all look really good i really like the fade that you could see right over here i really like the fade that you could see right over here with this orange and yellow and the frosty white it all looks really good so i'm very pleased with all these these look great and then we get the added hexa blaster i don't know i'm calling it a hexa blaster anyway i don't know if it's called a hexa blaster or whatever but it has six of the things sticking out right over there and then the effects for those the shield and the blade and all of this looks awesome both the shield and this blade are for the right hand and you can see that you get some nice translucent blue right over here i like this tapered off edge it is a little bit pointy so yeah you want to be careful with it but i really like this a lot looks really good the shield is amazing i'm so happy to have this with the figure that looks really good too i like that translucent blue really neat and again for the right hand you could rotate this around and you could take this off and you could see that you get a right fist on the inside of that so that's pretty cool. I like this quite a bit. And then you get the Hexa Blaster right here. Again, don't know if it's actually called that, but, you know, the Hexa Blaster. Then, you get the God of Thunder powering this thing up, and then Blast Decimo, which is really cool. I love all this gold that we're seeing. The silver looks great. So yeah, man, this thing is very cool. Now, one thing about the effects that come with this is that you do get this very vibrant, almost neon orange color going on over here, which is a little different from the other effects that we're seeing. Just kind of stands out in a slightly different way, but whatever, you know, just a subtle difference I noticed. Not a thing that really bothers me. It's just, you know, a thing. But yeah, you got to pick each of these little pieces out and it's a little tricky to do kind of just play match the shape oh you get a two on this side that's right they have ones and twos so the if you're looking at it this way this side is the one and this side is the two that's how i've read it and then this thing does have instructions so maybe i should have taken a closer look at that before you know opening my mouth about it but this has a one right here so i'm going to give this a two this two will go in right there just nicely yeah and then we have a one we could go the correct way in here and there that goes so they do port in there very easily uh it's just that you want to make sure that you're over a table and porting these little guys back in oof gosh i just dropped it and i think i picked it off camera to demonstrate with this other one i mean look how small this thing is oh gosh <laughs> super scary losing one of these and it's tricky picking them out so i do have a hard time with that and then there you go so you could go ahead and Poured in blast effect right over there and bam all right now i got them all set up here and that looks awesome that is very cool and each of these appendages over here have articulation you could rotate side to side and they'll move forward and back a little bit pivot some same thing over here and same thing all the way down here too so i do like that they all have a little bit of articulation that is pretty sweet and then putting it onto the iron man figure itself you want to make sure that you pick this little guy off right over here off of his back can be tricky there we go can we get the arms out of the way and then i like to get these smaller ones you know under the arm and then the rest above 
the arm and it just knocked one off so you can see how it's a little finicky or not finicky but you know if you're gonna bump into it there's a lot of stuff going on here in a short space so you know it looks cool man I had fun taking pictures of this that's pretty awesome I love this effect it's probably how it's going to be displayed on the shelf it's just too cool looking Ugh. and afterwards you're left with all these little guys right over here just really be careful with these make sure you put them in the safe place you do not want to lose these little bits <laughs> So you're just looking at the Robert Downey Jr. head sculpt, and I gotta say, as soon as I looked at this thing, I thought it looked dead on Robert Downey Jr. Uh, for some reason, certain angles, it doesn't look as much like him to me, and I do wish there's a little bit more battle damage going on with his face, especially if they had uh, some red paint going down the right side, because at the beginning of the battle, before it even really started against Thanos anyway, at the end of the movie, uh, he already had blood coming down his right cheek right over there, but you can see it looks like he has a gash, around his left nose right here so that is pretty cool you know so he has some actual scarring going on looks like he has a little bit of a scar right there on his chin a little bit of a bruise right there on his cheek that's not for me dropping the figure or anything weird like that so i do think they nailed this head sculpt though i do like it a lot really does look like rdj in my opinion anyway and that rhymed uh, we do have this weird seam going along around the ear right there that looks a little bit weird but i do like how the hair looks for the most part there are some parts where it looks like the paint just disappears all of a sudden like right over here that looks weird you know but you know mostly i'm digging it so nice sculpt right over there I'm liking it. I just want to do a little comparison to what I think is one of the better offerings from Hasbro's Robert Downey Jr. head sculpts. This is the Iron Man 1 first 10 years RDJ head sculpt right there. So I just want to give a little bit of a comparison. And then you can go ahead and easily just pop this off at the neck right here. And then just pop on the Mark 85 helmet sculpt. And that looks awesome. Once again, same thing as the previous version from SH Figure Arts, but with a different paint job. And it's hard to say which one I like more because I do like the grid dirty version that we're seeing on the left however on the right side I do like this nice clean version as well and of course if you wanted to swap the parts right over here oh it's not as easy as I thought it would be oh no I thought pfft, whoa, what a moron I really thought I could just pop this off right here and swap the heads so that's not working out like how I'd expect so yeah you can't do that but anyway getting back to this right here I do like how you have that beautiful wash going throughout on the figure now this one has kind of like a translucent metallic thing going on for the eyes right here this one does not it's just an opaque baby blue color so kind of like this a little bit more so and then with the arc reactor uh oh you get a little bit more detail on this newer one compared to the first one right here yeah there is some detail in there but this one has a little bit more so that's cool to see I did not notice that earlier but the paint apps look really good a couple of little dots and you know micro paint clumps that I don't like but I think this whole idea with the wash looks really good throughout on this figure overall and then on the red parts you can see it as well of course you get that piece right over here that you could pick off and I'm fairly certain you can put the Hexatron on the regular version of the Mark 85 Iron Man. But yeah, on the gold parts, I really like this wash that we're seeing right over here. Sometimes I feel like it's dry brushing because I am seeing these linear strokes right over here. So it very well maybe dry brushing. I could be wrong about it being a wash, but you could do that with washes too. So I don't know. It, I think it's dry brushing to be honest with you though. <laughs> very light dry brushing. And I like that you could see it right here on the armor itself. You could see that brown color over the red kind of tricky to pick up but I think this looks great I love the little details of the blue right here once again same thing on the back there's your Iron Man butt it's all dirty and then here's looking at the legs all dirty knees dirty legs dirty and then of course there's looking at the feet and he still has those peg holes so really nothing new with the articulation on this figure compared to the previous version you can get the neck and head joints to look up that far and he will look down that far you get head pivoting and you can turn the head side to side i did find this to be quite stiff on this figure actually at first i couldn't move it this far right away so maybe heat it up or give it some time and be gentle uh, while trying to move it side to side you do get butterfly joints that move forward and back and it will shift up and down shoulders move outward down rotate a full 360 bicep swivel double jointed elbows ball jointed wrist peg joints right there diaphragm joint turns side to side crunches forward quite a bit a little bit of gapage right over there and it does move back that far. You also get some waist articulation. So you can see with both joints at the waist and diaphragm, he'll bend back that far. With both joints, he'll move forward that much. The waist joint allows some side-to-side -side motion over here too. I try to get this plate over this lower waist 
piece right over here as you can see that so I'm shifting over it and then you get a little diaper thing that doesn't move around this is stationary totally uh, you can shift the legs down and up and it does create some gappage if you're not careful but I do like having that feature you can get the legs moving outward that far and he will kick forward and back upper thigh cut double jointed knees and then the ankles can turn side to side they will shift down and up just a tiny bit so you know make sure you shimmy that in but yeah they'll move down they'll move up he has ankle pivot that bends in that far and then of course he has toe articulation now measuring out this final battle mark 85 you can see that he is standing just a little over the six inch mark then for an sh figure art size comparison you could see the first mark 85 and then here's our latest version one thing i wanted to actually see was how this hexa blaster or hexatron whatever you want to call it right i just want to see how this fits on this figure right here it should be a solid smooth fit so let's see yeah it is all right perfect so if you like this look more and you just wanted to buy this figure for this accessory, well, you can do that if you wanted to. And then here's the Mark 85 next to the Mark 50 SH Figure Arts Iron Man. I think this is like parts of all three versions combined into one right here. Of course, you can see I have the Hexa Blaster from Infinity War over here. And then here's the one from Endgame. So yeah, it's cool to see these side by side right here. They are different from each other, not the same thing. If I remember correctly, this design and a lot of the designs on this figure are not film accurate. So yeah, very happy to have them. A more film accurate version right over here with this one and then for another mark 85 comparison we have our sh figure arts end game final battle version next to the marvel legends mark 85 and it does have some mark 50 parts added right over there i wanted to see if i can get more of my mark 50 parts from sh figure arts onto this figure right here just to play around some more but the packaging from the mark 50 figures is all in the closet which is in the room where charlita one is being quarantined right now fighting the covid 19 and thank you guys so much for the outpouring support on the crowdfunding and everything which is the same thing as patreon by the way that really means a lot so starting in july i'm going to be able to take some time off i really appreciate it you guys oh my goodness thank you thank you and then here's the new mark 85 next year average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time badass spider-man and again stop motions are just on hold right now Hope you understand, stop motions will return, they're not gone forever. But you know what is gone forever is my Norman Osborn head. <laughs> Century, I wish I could just use this as a Norman Osborn head. Oh. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thank you to all these people over here that support this YouTube channel and that are contributing towards the sick leave that is very, very needed over here in our household at this moment in time. A whole bunch of you have just jumped on and I really appreciate it, you guys. And I appreciate the people that have been there. I appreciate the people that have been here in the past and haven't been able to do it now due to COVID-19 because I know it's hard times, but right now, the support is really going an extremely long way. I really appreciate it, you guys. Again, in July, I'm looking to take some time off from making videos just to help take care of my wife. And uh, thank you so much, you guys. Anyway, this figure right here, I have him set up in a way which I don't remember seeing him like this, quite exactly like this in the movie, but I do think it is cool having him in an aerial pose, you know, with the Hexatron. I keep calling it that, but yeah, the Hexa Blaster, whatever. I think it looks awesome. The figure itself, yeah, it's a repainted figure with added accessories, and I don't really have a problem with that. I'm a huge sucker for the Mark 85. I love the Mark 85. It's one of my favorite MCU Iron Man armor out there so I am actually very pleased with this I like it a lot at the price point of uh, I think it was around 125 bucks I'm gonna give this a sun rating of <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. oh, God. and I'd like to know what you guys think so please let me know in the comment section below if you want to see the latest in Marvel news you can find it all over at marvelousnews.com and don't forget to follow me over on the social media on Instagram Twitter Twitch TikTok and Stardust and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.